Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about locators in robot framework with the app. See, uh, if you see my previous playlist called uh, App with Python, there I explained for different kind of locators, which is uh, accessibility. Okay, and then ID and XPath and uh, text, those things we show. And if you compare with Selenium, right? Selenium have different kind of locators like XPath, ID, name, class name, tag name. Like this, so many locators are there. But here we have a specific a limit we have. Based upon that, we can able to use and we can do it. Okay. But APM finding and providing the locators is a big challenge. Okay. Comparing to another any languages. If you go to this particular library, this is basically elements for the locators, how we need to pass using our Appium locator. This is the Appium library one, okay? Here using the locator, how we can able to pass it. Default, we can able to click element and ID equal to that particular name. And the similar format we need to pass for every place. If you want to, uh, wait or something like wait until the page contain the element if that particular element until that we can able to specify that also waiting technique also we can able to use it and also we can able to use for this particular element identifier id accessibility id xpath class name android ios predict and chain or css selector or name of that particular locator okay and this particular last one name is the red. Right? This is the only available in a cylinder. That particular place only it will be available. Remaining things we can able to reuse it. Okay. And whenever you using that, we need to specify that particular one. Accessibility ID if you are passing that a particular accessibility ID equal to and you need to pass it. XPath you need to pass like this. And your class name you need to pass like this. Okay. Android one UI is uh, one, then you need to pass for your selector and describe what app, what kind of app you are going to use. So, so all of these we need to pass a similar format that. Okay. This is Android is basically UI automator path we need to specify. Okay. In this particular location, even uh, uh, before closing and the describe block, you can see in the ID, ID equal to my element, it can matches with the source ID attribute. Okay. Identifier attributed is by default a match with the ID. Okay. And we can able to see this accessibility ID, how we can able to use into our robot framework. Okay. Before that, you can need to open for Android. Okay. Uh, that particular Android, you can click for here, more and virtual. Then it will launch for this particular device. We are set up in the, my previous videos. Okay. This particular Pixel 7 Pro and Night watch okay this is by default when you are installing the first time right that moment some people will get some not be get and this night watch is basically oh sorry i used to install while i'm doing for web driver io that moment i have used it okay and even if you want you can use for pixel or seven or some anything okay i use this is the one by default Okay, once you open, it will open like this and we need to find the app activity in the app package. Okay, and that purpose we can click here and click the app contacts and right now in this particular page, right? Now I'm opening first command prompt. Okay, here we need to find the app package and the app activity. That is a more important. Okay, how we can able to find app activity and app package. And before that, we need to know about whether we are able to get our device in the command prompt. How we can able to use ADB devices. See, now I'm able to get for my device name. Okay, here you can able to see how many devices we can able to, that many devices it will be displayed here. Okay, once my device is getting, then I need to open my cell script. How we can able to open ADB shell. See, now we are able to uh, mark the cell script one. And now we can able to, uh, we are already focused. We kept into this particular, sorry. 
my contacts one okay once i'm going to like here i'll go and hit for d u m p s y s space window space displays displays and pipe symbol a grip iphone capital e and then we need to specify for m current focus because current what exactly right this is basically it will a window which is the window it is opened okay and grip is basically it is a current focused one we are going to get for app package and app activity now we are able to get for this particular app app activity okay now i'm going to the pie chart i'll create the file right click and i'm opening for new file and here i'm going to use for tc02 underscore locator dot a robot dot robot okay we are in that particular place okay now i'm copying this entire path and i'm pasting back to here okay and here and com dot under dot contacts is there I think I have already lost them. I done this. Okay. Now, second part. We need to copy. And we need to paste it here. Okay. Now, we are able to do that. Now, I want to click that element. Okay. Now, I can see. Click element. Okay. What I want to click the element. I want to click the accessibility ID. Copy that accessibility ID and paste it here at equal. And how we can able to activate it. This already I have done, right? I'll close the mesh session here. Okay, we are in this. Already I showed in the, my previous video also. Please go through that. Okay. IPM, iPhone P and 4724 the server. I'm going to hit it now. We need to wait a couple of minutes. Uh, now my port is uh, starting my UI automator and everything. Attempting for loading from drivers. Yes, we are able to hit it. Okay. Now I'm going to start my session. See, automatically it will fetch the some data, whether how it will be doing on everything. Okay. And once it is done, then we can able to see this uh, here, the image will be presented. Okay. See now, here what exactly it is the similar format it is there here as well. Okay, just click it here, and you can see accessibility ID that is called create name. I clicked and copied that particular name, and coming back here and pasting here. Okay, now what is my is basically whenever I click this accessibility. And I want to click this press symbol. Whether we are able to click or not, we need to see in this now. Okay. Now I'm closing here. Now here I'm going to use for a robot space TC02. Okay. Tap and then my file will be presented. I'm hitting now. Okay. Now you can see here uh, we can able to open for contact page then we can click for that plus symbol to add the contacts now see we are able to click on that particular contact okay now i need to cancel this particular cancel button and then i need to use it this is basically one kind of alert right this is a alert we can able to say how we can able to handle for alert okay now you know about that how we can able to use for locator and all right and even we have for some other locator id is there see here id and x path is there okay and if you come by the locators and package this is a package okay and here there is a x path id identifier and then css okay dot green or something we can able to use and we can able to access add that as well okay 
even you can see in the context a text place nothing is there but uh, contact description is basically create new contacts okay even by using this and we can able to create for some next path and we can able to reuse it okay and that you can try and you are in in case if you are not able to find the locators exactly what i'm going to say you can ping me in this particular video i can help you to create for your path or i will create and i will provide to you okay try with the xpath and try with the id and try with class name and this particular xpath creation your own xpath don't go for hard coding one he's already it is there you can see okay and even i showed that how we can able to create the xpath and here you can see this is the name okay class name class name is the tag name whenever you creating here xpath creation it will be tricky by default they will provide in case if you want to create your own way how you can able to create okay first don't go for already presented value now you can see right now whenever you want to create the xpath what is the priority basically to forward slash and tag name and then we are going to provide like this and we need to provide that the rate and uh, attribute okay equal to and single quotation we are going to specify that right now in this case what we can able to to forward slash is common okay whenever you can see this copyright class name class name is my tag name okay and then specify it okay and come back here and see and there is a uh, attribute what is the attribute this is a class context description this is called attribute okay this is called attribute at the rate attribute specification and equal to single quotation or double quotation which is the one is based upon your canonic okay copy this one and paste it this is called your x part you can provide there and you can try it and here you need to accessibility location you can uh, remove accessibility id and specify based upon this browser is provide x path equal to and which is the x path you are going to specify okay provide like this and you can class name you want to click just provide this one and class name and try to hit that particular one okay and id also you can try okay that is called re, uh, resource id resource id is present here this is the one resource id okay sometimes maybe you will see for failure on this resource id sometime it will maybe other element if it is presented you can see for failure okay more uniquely we can able to create for one is x path or we can able to go ahead for accessibility id okay these are the two things we can able to use in our real time okay i hope it this interlocutor you got it and next one alert this is the alert message it is coming right and close it okay sorry i'll close it right that put clover maybe due to that it is fit and whenever you click the contacts and you will see some alert that how you can able to do it our robotic framework that we can be able to go and see for next two decision thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you